when it comes to Kenya Japan, I always think of the ordinary people first and not the higher class. You know, in America, Republicans, we have something in economics called Reganometrics. Reganometrics, Reagan at his time wanted to build the high class, giving them good money to establish businesses, but he failed because when they empowered them with all these resources, they ended up going to holidays, expensive vacations and everything. So we call it regulometrics. Although MPP, we are aligned to Republicans, naturally, I'm a Democrat. Oh, really? Yeah. So in your heart, you are Democrat? Yes. By your party? Why? What about Democrats do you like that you want to replicate in Ghana? Say, Democrats. They always make policies that takes care of the ordinary people. And the Republicans, you know, sometimes their decisions are very tough and it does not favor the ordinary people in society. So you're not You know, election is expensive. Mm -hmm. If you know how much I've spent, you know those who are sitting back there thinking Ken Japan is doing it for somebody, I'm afraid they have to change their mind. And again, the policies that I have, none of them <clears throat> going around has been able to tell the delegates in Ghana what they are going to do for the country. So I stand out. Look. Four days ago, this weekend, Sunday or so, I got 17 lecturers from Legon who said, they came to me, a golden to, uh, moving pick here, and said that they are all lecturers, but they believe and accept that they are theorists, and they buy into the pragmatism policy that I have been talking about, and therefore they want to be part of it. 17 lecturers on Sunday, they were here. That alone tells you something. So I'm in for good. Let me tell you what transpired. Mm -hmm. I showed the video of Ahmed Swale. Mm -hmm. And when they saw it, my workers came to me and said, Ah, Honorable, don't you know this guy? You even gave him 1500 to go and pay his school fees, which I always do for people, so I don't even remember. Then I said to them, Then you have to be careful. If this guy comes here, beat him up because he's going to set this company up. Was I said, was when I, he what comes, a good thing to say. Yes, him. beat yes. like physical, uh, yes. beat him. Yes, uh, not that you don't I, regret that. No, 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 not that I want to be president and therefore I will come and tell you I didn't say that. No, I said if he comes to my premises, I didn't say go and beat him outside. No, okay. I said they said, oh, he has been coming here. I said, no. Based on the evidence I had, you know, Ahmed Swale's problem, may he so rest in peace. He made a lot of mistakes. You know why? <clears throat> All the investigations Anas did, Anas never showed up with his face. Ahmed Swale showed his face. So all the people that he embarrassed in this country, Anas embarrassed in this country, it was Ahmed Swale who set them up. Ahmed Swale was the one who set the finance minister and those finance people up with some renowned lawyer. They never saw Anas's face. So if I say that this is the guy, and let me tell you the truth today, I cannot, this cannot be an albatross of me. Let me tell you something. When I showed the face of Ahmed Swali, the finance minister was on his way to Dubai to meet them. So, the minister of state, Yata. yes, mm -hmm. minister of state, Edubwai. Edubwai, called him and said, Ish, I have seen this on there too. This is entrapment. 
he actually met them and he snubbed them he snubbed them they didn't know it was anas until i showed the face and connected ameswale to anas so how on earth would you say that i say if he comes to my premises beat him up you think you can beat the two of them why alan not? and ken why not everything is Al possible. alan and uh, baumia everything is possible you're confident you'll be sworn in as president yes what would be the first thing you do as president if you're elected in 2025 changing the mindset what i'll do is and i've started it's good you came up with this question we are signing out i just wonder one thing you do i'll bring all musicians together to let them come out with heroic songs and we'll organize a concert like we are the world r b our lives reggae gospel they all come together and play all these songs then after that we'll give it to the media and schools to play for Guyanians to be paid.